Hey guys, Sophia here with turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about the 2022 IFBB Pro League Mr. Big Evolution Portugal Pro all the women's events, bikini, wellness, fitness, figure, women's physique, and women's bodybuilding. What an amazing range of physiques on this stage. Everybody looked incredible. Oh man, let's get going. So as a reminder, there are two big shows coming up this weekend, the Vancouver Pro and the Atlanta Pro. So make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss those recaps. I'll be back with those as soon as I can. Okay, so in terms of Olympia, I thought this was a tier three contest, but actually uh, the numbers weren't adding up when I was looking at the scores. And I went back to the webpage and find, found out that the Portugal Pro has actually become a tier two contest. So even more points than before. So the winner qualifies for Olympia, second through fifth receive these points over here. I will update my page. And then at the end of the qualification period, the top three in the point standings all get to go to Olympia. So this is a big show. Very cool. So starting with women's pro bodybuilding. In first place, Branca, second, Alcyon, third, Claudia, fourth, Yesenia. So here's Yesenia in fourth, and man, oh man, does she ever have a beautiful shape. She's got such full, round, gorgeous quads, really nice lats, great arms. Um, she just has a beautiful X shape. And then add on top of that her gorgeous hair, lovely suit color. She's got some coordinating eyeshadow. I think she looks beautiful. The only thing she's lacking in my books is a bit more conditioning so that we can see the muscles more sharp. The abs could be deeper. The, the grooves in the legs could be even more. But otherwise, I think her shape is beautiful and she looks amazing. Okay, next is Claudia in third place. Now there's some lovely conditioning. I love all of that detail by her knees. Her quads look great. Her abs are so defined. Loving the lines that she's got on the sides by her obliques. Great round lats. Just, she looks gorgeous. I think at the end of the day, she could have even more size, a bit more sweep to her quads, even bigger lats, just to be even more competitive in the lineup of these incredible women. But I think she's got a beautiful foundation and really nice conditioning, and she looks amazing. And I love her hair. She's got some personality showing through, and it's awesome. Okay, Alcyon in second. Now we're getting somewhere. We've got conditioning and we've got some crazy size. Her legs are amazing. And what an improvement from her second place at the Muscle Contest Brazil. I think we have way more detail coming through. Just check out the quads. Check out her abs. Her arms look more detailed, right? You've got just great lines. The biceps are so full and round. You didn't quite have that here. So she really did a great job. Um, her lats look amazing. Really small waist. It's just gorgeous. Really beautiful. Great legs. I do think that she could have a bit more sweep higher up in her legs somehow. Maybe that could be a posing thing. Um, if she could kind of, right now it looks straight, straight, straight. And then the sweep starts here. This leg is a little better, a little bit more round all the way through. So that's something I think she could totally um, change and just keep working on it. But I love her conditioning. I love her size. The suit is vibrant and beautiful. Oh, man, she looks really good. But now in first place, Branka. Oh, wow. Conditioning is crazy. She looks grainy. She looks so hard. Her legs are just unbelievably three-dimensional like look at the calf it's like it's coming right out of her leg you can outline every little piece every big piece of her leg muscles the detail comes right up into her hip her abs are so outlined her arms like the vascularity is crazy the conditioning is next level and then her size is beautiful too and the shape is gorgeous really nice curves in her legs Nice trim waist, beautiful lats, great balance between upper and lower, and overall a really fabulous X shape. So she nailed it. Side by side, 
Yep, definitely Branka. You see the conditioning, you see the shape, you see her posing. The X is there. Um, I think Alcyon next to her has some really nice legs too with the conditioning, but Branka really has a beautiful silhouette, and I think it's because of the curves. I think she's posing perfectly, and then the conditioning just shows off the abs, shows off everything. Um, you see what I mean about Claudia could just have a bit more size, and Yasenia could have a bit more conditioning. But man, how fabulous. Check out how gorgeous Branka's glutes are. Striations, size, um, just 3D everywhere. She's so pumped, so full, small waist, amazing. Okay, so in terms of Olympia, Branka is qualified, Alcyon has 12, Claudia has 7, Yasinia has 10. Okay. Pro Fitness, two competitors, Alex in first place and Kareen in second. And you can see that Alex was in first place for both the physique and the routine. So she definitely had a great show. So here's Kareen. We last saw her in fourth place at the big man. So she is doing great. Uh, I think she's made some huge improvements to a lot of things. First of all, her shoulders look amazing check out this beautiful size she's put on for sure since then um, the other thing that I think is changes her posing she's twisting a lot more you see a lot more of this back arm than you saw here it looks fabulous and then I also think her conditioning is even better way more detail coming through in her legs the hamstrings her calf is really popping her abs look super hard so fabulous improvements. I think she's looking great. She still needs a lot more size, but she's getting there and she's doing amazing. So I think this is a really good show for her. Um, one thing I did notice is the suit is a bit funny. I think there's too much space here. I wonder if she could just get the triangles to come a bit closer. Um, and maybe even if the hip the connector could be higher up like the figure girls rather than lower. Those are my suggestions. Okay, let's keep going. There's a look at her routine. So cool. Her legs look amazing. Awesome. Okay, now here's Alex in first place. She looks incredible. Great size and sweep to her quads. Nice detail. Um, the conditioning is good. I wouldn't mind more, honestly, to see even more detail in the abs, more deep grooves in the legs, even more detail in the arms, but you can really see the shape coming through, and that's what's super important. Her suit fits beautifully. Her posing is very cool. She looks fierce. She looks strong. Um, the color of the suit is lovely. Her makeup is gorgeous. And I love the ponytail. It's different and it suits her and it's awesome. And there's a look at her routine. So here <clears throat> are the ladies side by side. You can definitely see that Alex has a lot more of that shape that they're looking for, that X shape. She's got more lat. She's got a little bit more leg. So just overall, it's a lot more of that V taper with the roundness in the lower body than Corrine. But still, side by side, they both look beautiful, nice conditioning, very small waists. And then from behind, again, Alex is really showing off that deep V taper well. Uh, nice, large, round shoulders, though I do feel a slight asymmetry. This one does look a little bit larger and more rounded than this one. It could just be the posing. She could maybe relax this arm a little bit. Um, beautiful glute shape from Corinne and very nice adductor definition. So a gorgeous physique round in the R of Pro Fitness. So in terms of Olympia, Alex is qualified and Corinne is up to 11. Okay, pro figure. In first place, Lena. Second, Lisa Marie. Third, Manon. Fourth, Adela. And fifth, Paula. Okay, so Paula in fifth really impresses me. I think her shape is fantastic. Her V taper is amazing and her it's those shoulders. Wow beautiful size, so round, so full, perfect balance with her lats, nice small waist, and amazing legs. Really nice shape, really nice detail by the kneecaps. Uh, I just think she looks really awesome. She's posing well. 
She looks great. And in fact, I think in terms of a comparison with her last show, her legs look even better. Like here we had a bit of a space, whereas here she is full to the brim. Um, so I think she's looking amazing. I love this suit. I love the red lip. She looks awesome. Perhaps she could have a bit more calf muscle. I think that would be even more balanced for the leg. Um, but overall, like I think she looks amazing. Maybe a little bit more conditioning in comparison to the other ladies. But looking at her just on her own, I think she looks fabulous. Okay, Adela in fourth. You can see a little bit more conditioned, a little more detail coming through. Her abs are sharp. Her quads are really sharp all the way up into the hip. Like, look at all this detail way up here by her suit. Um, she also has a really nice V taper, perhaps not as exaggerated as Paula in fifth, but still a very beautiful silhouette. Nice posing. I've mentioned before that this arm doesn't seem to come up at the same level as this one, although her shoulders are still looking very nice. Um, beautiful lipstick, beautiful suit. Her waist is tiny and man, just she's got a really great silhouette, really showing off the V taper and the gorgeous sweep to her quads. And she's got some nice calves, very good balanced lower body. So a beautiful fourth. Okay, Manon in third. Holy smokes. Talk about conditioning. You see so much in her legs. Great detail. Her abs are sharp. Her lats look beautiful and amazing shoulders as well. Like this is a super impressive top five for figure. Really beautiful V taper. I think she could have more size in her legs to really fill out the the balance between the top and the lower but man ugh, she looks so good even if she could get the thighs to come together so that there was less space in between I love this suit I love her hair I think she's so cool she looks amazing I'm super impressed by her small waist her waist looks even smaller here than it did here and I think it's just the way that she's posing so she looks awesome a fabulous third Okay, Lisa Marie in second. Wow, V Taper. She is awesome. Really broad upper body. The shoulders just go and go. It's like her lateral, the space she takes up is huge. And then what a V Taper down to her suit bottoms. Great definition in her abs and wow, legs. Nice um, proportions, really nice calves. <laughs> I'm on the calves today with these figure girls, but they look beautiful with her um, quads, just a beautiful balance in the leg and nice balance with the upper body with that really trim little waist in the middle. Nice detail all over. Uh, hair, I think she could do a little more volume, maybe a little curl, little wave, something just to spice it up a little bit. Um, but overall, I think her presentation is beautiful and really nice posing. All right, now Lena in first place really has something special. Her waist is so small, it makes the V taper like insanity level. She is so teensy weensy, and then the lats are so big. The shoulders are a beautiful proportion with the lats, really nice detail as well. Um, I think she could have more bicep, honestly, a little more in the arm, bicep and tricep, but wow, great shape. And then the conditioning in her legs is next level. She might not be the largest lady, but she really shows off the detail beautifully. Uh, her suit fits her lovely, great hair, beautiful smile, nice makeup and nice posing, really just showing off that V taper and the nice sweep in her legs. So Man, I think she looks really good. I, do, I think she could even probably turn her toes out a little bit and get even more size coming through on the sweep. Man, what an amazing figure. Okay, so everybody side by side. Gee, Lu geez Louise, like, wow, this is incredible. The shoulders on Paula and on Manon are just outrageous. I think Lisa Marie, I really noticed her V shape as well as her legs. Adela, I noticed her tiny waist and their beautiful ab definition. And then Lena, I noticed the V taper, the waist and the detail in the legs. So 
man, it was it was really good. I think everybody has something special. Paula also has some fabulous legs. Super impressive. Now, from behind, Lena definitely has very nicely sculpted glutes. You've got this gorgeous triangular shape in the bottom where her glutes and hams tie together. I think that is a really nice shape, particularly compared to Lisa Marie, who has a little bit more curve. I think Lena just looks more sculpted. Um, Adela has a little bit more curve as well, but she's got some beautiful curve in her shoulders. Manon has gorgeous glutes, really lovely um, delts, but perhaps missing some of that 3D, some of that detail in her back. And then Paula, I think, has an amazing silhouette from behind, but also just missing some of that detail in the hamstrings. Lena really is petite. She's tight. She's concise, but she's got that amazing V taper with the tiny waist and just beautiful development that's really shown off by her conditioning gorgeous top five. Wow. So in terms of Olympia, Lena is qualified. Lisa Marie has eight. Manon has 10. Adela has 10. And Paula has seven. Okay. Pro Bikini, a huge lineup. Wow. In first place, Ivana. Second, Christina. Third, Esther. Fourth, Anna. And fifth, Alice. So believe it or not, this was the pro debut for Alice, so impressive in this crazy big lineup, and she looked beautiful. She has a very calm, serene, confident quality about the way that she's posing. She's not overly exaggerating. She doesn't look strained. She doesn't look hard. She just looks very natural and very comfortable. You see a beautiful shape to her glute, really nice detail in her quad. Um, her calf looks lovely, nice oblique. And just a beautiful amount of definition coming through on her arms, but not too much. And beautiful posing. I, I just think she looks really good, really just gentle and beautiful. Um, the suit color is lovely. I think she could have gone with a bolder lip. You know me, I always recommend a bolder lip, but she looks amazing and I can't wait to see more. A fabulous fifth place. Okay, Anna again in the top five, over and over again. She's returned to the blue suit. I really like the blue. I think it's so beautiful on her. And I think her conditioning is perhaps even better than before. You really notice this dip in her hip and the outline of this muscle here as well. Her oblique is crazy. Um, beautiful arms. She's just gorgeous. She's got a great hourglass shape, a really good curve in her back. I think the arm is a little bit close to her glute. It, for my liking, it, it kind of hides the shape, but it is a matter of where we are in relation to where the judges are. Uh, and I also really like how curved you see her hamstring in this back leg. Just gorgeous. So she's consistently doing well. I love seeing her in the top five and I really love the blue suit. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Okay, Esther again in the top five, this time in third place. And yeah, she looks amazing. I love her smile. I love the straight hair with the earrings. It's a lot of straight lines and I think it looks really good. She's got beautiful definition in her delts, really tight toned waist, lots of nice detail here. Her obliques are super sharp, really flat tummy gorgeous detail around her glute and around her quad and just beautiful legs. She's posing really well as also I like how she's up on her toe. Um, her, her arm looks really beautiful too. She, her hand is in a nice position. It's not too close to the belly button. She's pulling forward the shoulder so you get to see both arms. Really nice. I do find that this shoulder is a little bit low compared to this one. I wouldn't mind if they were a bit more level. But that's okay. Overall, I think she's got a gorgeous hourglass shape and she looks amazing. Okay, Christina in second. Amazing again. She's already qualified for the Olympia and she's doing so well. She also has an incredible hourglass shape. 
beautiful curve in her back. It really shows off how tiny her waist is. Um, definitely the leanest we've seen her. You've got a lot of rib. You've got a really chiseled oblique. A little bit more detail coming through on this back leg that we saw, you know, at the other shows. More detail by her kneecap. Very, very lean. Um, she's showing off this arm really well. Nice shoulders. I do feel like she's a bit leaning here. I, I find, like I said, for our last competitor, the shoulder's a bit pulling down. So I wouldn't mind if she pulled her chest and the rib cage up a bit so that this was more flat and more straight across. But you've got a great hourglass, a beautiful shape to the glute, and a gorgeous overall presentation. She does hold her feet very close together, and I'm not sure whether that's something she does strategically. I wouldn't mind if I could see a little bit more shape of her hamstring. So I do like that we get a bit more of a view here than we had at Shiro, for example. Okay, and now in first place is Ivana again. First place, four shows. Oh, wow, she is on fire. And yeah, that I think is the best word to describe her, fire. She's so hot. She is so beautiful. I think this is the most conditioning we've seen from her as well. Lots of detail in her delts. Lots of detail in her obliques. Her abs are really defined. The groove in her hip is really visible. She is amazing. Her calf looks really defined as well. Unreal. She's got a gorgeous shape like her delts come so far perfectly in line with her glute and her glute is such a gorgeous roundness on top before attaching it with this light, nice little dip into her hamstring she just has curve after curve curvy delt curvy lat curvy back curvy glute curvy hamstring curvy calf just amazing what a shape she's gorgeous Okay, so everybody's side by side. I notice that Ivana is standing a little bit more forward facing than the either lady on uh, than the ladies on either side of her, and I think it's nice to show off her stomach and her abs as well as that hourglass shape. You really notice the conditioning, the line in her hip. Um, I'm also really impressed by Alice. I think she's got a gorgeous shape at the bottom of her glute, but. Ivana really has that fullness and roundness at the top, um, particularly when you compare her, for example, to Christina. I think you really notice how round and full and firm her glute looks. Lots of beautiful definition. I think Esther's glute looks really full as well. Really nice size. What a beautiful top five. And then from behind, everybody looks really good. Um, Ivana for sure has some gorgeous glute ham tie-ins, particularly the inner uh, glute ham tie-in area. Uh, I think she's got a gorgeous sweep to her quads as well. Some really nice um, size and also beautiful calves. I think Anna could have a little bit more definition to her calves. Alice and Christina could have a bit more size in their calves. Uh, I'm super impressed by Esther. I think her delts look beautiful. Uh, but Ivana just kind of nails it with her hourglass shape, the roundness and fullness, and the beautiful balance in her legs. So an amazing bikini lineup. So in terms of Olympia, Ivana was already qualified. Christina was already qualified. Esther has nine. Anna has 11. And Alice has five. Okay, moving on to pro women's physique. In first place, Barbara, second, Caroline, third, Bridget, fourth, Manuela, and fifth, Alita. So, Alita in fifth looks absolutely amazing. I can't believe that this is fifth. Like, this is incredible. Her legs are amazing. Her abs are so defined. Even compared to the last show, she's even more conditioned, even more definition. You really can see the detail in her abs, in her legs. I think her biceps look even better than they did last time. They're so 3D. Her posing is lovely. Great lats. Like what an awesome X shape. I'm super impressed. Love the color of this suit on her. I think it's even more flattering than the pink. She's incredible. She's amazing. I love it. Um, what else can I say? Maybe her suit could come up a little higher. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just the angle of the photo. Otherwise, I think, man, 
So good. Okay, Manuela in fourth. Again, with the crazy conditioning, her abs are unreal. She's got a gorgeous sweep on the tops and sides of her quads. Really nice detail by the kneecap. I wouldn't mind if it was a little bit more detailed coming up into the thigh. Um, and I also feel like she could have a bit more size and roundness on in the lats. But I think she's got a really nice overall shape, a tiny waist, beautiful X frame, great suit, great posing. It really shows off her gorgeous arms. And man, that conditioning is really good. She looks grainy. She looks hard. The abs are like a washboard. Super impressive. Okay, Bridget in third place. Wow, her quads are unreal. Really great detail. That's what I'm talking about right up into her hips. Beautiful size, beautiful lats, man. Great size as well. Super good proportions. Um, I wish that there was a little bit more definition coming through on her abs. And there's something about this suit I'm not liking. And I think it's that there's too much fabric here. I think she could definitely have it cut to be even lower. And I think that would highlight and show off her small waist better. Uh, I think her posing is beautiful. Her X shape is fantastic. Love the red lip. Love the silky smooth hair. Love the red nails. I think she looks really polished and really, really good. Okay, Caroline in second place. Amazing. Amazing size. I love that you can see her glute even from the front. She's got gorgeous legs. They're so muscular. They're so detailed. She's got a nice trim, small waist, great ab definition, even better than at Spain. Um, the lats look really good, really nice curves. Her biceps look great. I, I think she could have a bit more shoulder, honestly, a little bit more like height in the roundness up top. But man, vascular, cut, ripped, all of the above. She looks so good. Great density. She looks super muscular and just full and gorgeous. Love this suit color. I think her hair is beautiful. I love this soft wave. It's very old Hollywood and I think it's glamorous and gorgeous. A beautiful second place. And now Barbara in first place. Oh yeah, she is so good. We saw her at the Olympia where she was in fourth place. She's maintaining that amazing physique, beautiful delts, striations. She's just unreal. Check out these triceps. Ugh amazing. Her chest looks buff. Her delts look so good. Um, the glute has such a gorgeous shape, beautiful detail coming through on her quads and gorgeous posing. She is such a pro. She looks amazing. Okay, so everybody's side by side. Wow. Unreal. Gorgeous quads from everybody tiny waists from everybody, though I think Barbara might have the upper hand for the smallest waist on the whole stage. Plus, she's got these amazing lats. So, for example, when you compare her to Manuela, who also has a really small waist, but the lats are not as big, you really notice the V taper. Unbelievable. And then her legs have such a gorgeous shape and the conditioning. You've got feathering. You've got striations all over her body. She is just crazy good. It's a great top five, but Barbara, wow. And then from behind, Barbara just has so much detail and fullness in all of these lumps and bumps in her back. I love her glutes. They're so large. They're so outlined. And then a massive amount of size to her hamstrings with great detail. And her calves look awesome too. Um... Caroline beside her looks really good, but I think this tiny waist on Barbara really makes her V-taper quite exceptional. So in terms of Olympia, Barbara is qualified. Caroline is way up at 23. Bridget has seven. Manuela has six. And Alita has six as well. All right. Pro wellness. In first place, Katerina. Second, Karina. Third, Leonida. Fourth, Claire, and fifth, Nerilda. 
So, Nerilda in fifth. Amazing record. Top fives across the board, and she looks incredible. I love her abs at this show. Her waist looks so small. I think her posing looks really good. I love the way she's allowing her arm to just kind of fall gently. Beautiful fingers. Her glutes look amazing. The detail, the groove, the definition. Her quad is so round. Also great detail by the kneecap coming right up. Uh, beautiful calves. She's just gorgeous. She's got an amazing suit. I love how unique it is with the scalloped shape. And she looks gorgeous. Great lip, beautiful hair. I love it. She's got an amazing size and just gorgeous conditioning. She looks so good. Okay, next and fourth is Claire. First of all, what a unique suit color. You hardly ever see this, and it looks amazing with her dark hair. I love it. It looks so good. Then I notice her abs and her tiny waist. She's got great definition, really showing off the six-pack. Uh, she's also got some great definition coming through on this quad, lots of detail, although for some reason you don't see quite so much detail on the back leg, so maybe she could just try to flex that one, I don't know. Um, this just looks beautiful. Great size and shape coming through on the glute, can't wait to see the side pose, and gorgeous delts as well. And I like that in this front pose she's posing in a way that allows you to see both of the shoulders. Um, you get an idea of the symmetry and the beautiful amount of muscle she has in her arms. I think she looks awesome. Okay, next is Leonida in third in a new suit, a blue one. It looks great. Some blue earrings, red lipstick, which I always love. Now, her size looks gorgeous. Beautiful glute. And I think her glute looks even more round and full than it did at the big man. Right, This top part really looks good. Uh, beautiful size in her quads. Just gorgeous. Nice oblique. Great delts. Her posing is really good. I'm not sure why she holds her hand so close to her belly button all the time. Um, I, there's nothing really wrong with it. It's allowing you to see both of her shoulders. Uh, it's just different than what the other girls do. Her calf looks beautiful. Like overall, her shape is just fantastic. Really nice small waist and a great hourglass shape. Her tan, on the other hand, is not the best, particularly compared to the other girls. I just find she's got a tone that is not quite as rich and complimentary to her suit as some of the other ladies. You'll, you'll notice it in the lineup a bit more. But overall, I think her shape is beautiful. Her conditioning is very nice. Um, and she just looks gorgeous. Okay, Karina in second. Amazing size and beautiful detail. I love this line coming down her leg. I love all this detail in her hip. Really small waist. Wow. Great oblique and amazing size to her delts. Good amount of size in her arms, too. I love when the arms of the wellness girls are proportionate to their shoulders, to the lats, and then at least a, a good match to the lower body, even if not a perfect balanced set of upper and lower. But she looks really beautiful. Great size, great curves in the leg, both in the top of the quad, the back and the hamstring. Nice size in her calves. Uh, I think she looks awesome. And the suit is beautiful. Nice turquoise hints in the middle with that royal blue. It looks great. And I love the red lipstick. So overall, I think she looks really good. And now in fir first place, Katarina. You can't help but notice her size. She is muscular. Big delts. Big traps. Great abs. Super defined. She does not have some teeny tiny wispy little waist. She looks muscular and strong. She's got gorgeous glutes. Super round. Amazing quads. Great calves. And her detail is awesome as well. Lots coming through in the back. Gorgeous grooves and dips and nooks and crannies in her hip here. Beautiful definition in her abs. Oh, she looks amazing. The red suit is flattering. Fantastic. Um, I've commented before, I don't love the arm resting against her glute. I think she should twist more. It would make her waist look even smaller and it would show off her hourglass shape better. And I'm also noticing that she keeps her fingers open, which I think is fine, but I don't know that that's 
kind of the typical thing that other people do. But not that you have to do what everybody else does. So she's doing her own thing and she looks beautiful. So an amazing win for her and an Olympia qualification. So everybody in the lineup, wow. Okay, so Katerina, you really noticed that glute. What an amazing shape. So much size in her legs. Her lower body is really, really well developed. Great abs and beautiful delts. Um, I think you'll see what I mean about Leonidas 10 being a little bit off. Um, everybody looks really beautiful, really showing off these gorgeous glutes. Leonidas' glute has a really beautiful shape. Nerilda, I think, has some nice roundness on the top. Karina, I'm s noticing this gorgeous quad. Claire, I noticed her beautiful shape, though I do think you can tell she could have a bit more conditioning to show off some of that detail. Beautiful. What a top five. Now, from behind... Man, oh man, I think everybody is super impressive in their glute hem tie-ins. I, I can't say that anybody's is way better than anybody else's because they all have great definition, really well outlined all the way around. Just beautiful. And some crazy impressive quad sweeps from all of the competitors. Um, I think Katarina really has a gorgeous shape with the roundness both in the quads and the glutes and her calves. And then she has nice delts coming to really show off that hourglass shape from behind. Her hair is a bit long, in my opinion. I think it could be a little shorter, closer to her strap. But overall, holy smokes, what an amazing wellness top five. In terms of Olympia, Katarina is qualified. Karina has eight. Leonida has 21. Claire has six. And Nerilda has 17. So that's it for this show. There are two more shows coming up, the Vancouver Pro and the Atlanta Pro. So make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss those recaps. I'll be back as soon as I can. Please give me a like if you like this video. Comment below with what you thought of these gorgeous competitors and come find me. I'm at turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and of course on Instagram at turquoisetoffee.